Hello there, Low Coach Hippie here. Right now, I will react to the video of the trolling Sincha terrorizing the Korean Grandmaster. Hello, now, of course, this is posted on today on the Korean server. So, he plays in a more so aggressive playstyle, no D-shield, no corrupting potions, he goes D-ring, while also notably he goes for quite aggressive runes, uh, such as Conqueror and Ignite as a DPS anti heal or something as well. Seemingly it does all in the ringer. Now his trick is very simple. He goes in, he has Conqueror and all that, right? And meantime the enemy champion fights you. You get level 2 and level 2s are quite strong on top lane. He gets three, of course, right? And because Ringer is hitting him, not the wave, but he is the wave at the same time, right? Uh, he gets to push the wave and trade into Rengar at the same time. So he'll get level 2. That's, that's his general trick that he uses every time, actually. It's funny. It's funny, but it's so good actually. <laughs> it's funny, but it's so good actually. It's just a, it's just a simple trick, but a lot of people, even in Grandmaster, fall for it somehow. Um, in theory, he's fighting a Fiora. Fiora already has some items. He has also some items. He's rather ahead, but it's still Fiora. So keep that in mind that it's still Fiora. <laughs> <coughs> and in theory, he sort of plays a game of guessing because the issue is that uh, she can parry his uh, E. Right, and he can, she can also parry his uh, W, so he W'd actually backwards, not on her, and then she's gonna flip her inside of the W under tower, and that will 100% allow him to get the kill on Fiora. Now the fun thing about Singed is that your ult are the anti-heals, so that's like super good into champions like Aatrox and uh, Fiora and whatnot, right? Uh, what was it on there? He has studied, he has studied intensively, in, 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 intensively on ways to make you experience 50 shades of gray, okay. <laughs> Jack Solin, now he does play Ignite, which helps him a lot in this type of fallings, and note without Ignite probably wouldn't kill. <laughs> that's a, that's his whole like <coughs> trick, right? Right? So that Ignite really did work there actually. He doesn't like Steepy because it's way harder to get early kills and snowball of kills. So is uh, anti-heal is usually his uh, preference, anti-heal and damage. Now in here he played very interestingly, this is what a lot of Sinch players who don't really do. So in here first of all he's baiting out the Aatrox Qs, now sadly he ate the first one, but he did at least last hit. Now he ate the second one as well, but it doesn't matter so all that much, he broke this bomb plating, right? And now what he does, he knows that Aatrox's Q has a la very long cooldown earlier on, and his Q has no cooldown, that's the trick with Singed. If you can bait out a certain ability, you can look for an all-in, because like Aatrox without his Q, and he also gave up his passive, he's not all that potent in all-ins, uh, because Singed right now got Ignite, and his Q is constantly ticking, so it basically has no cooldown, right? He also fights him in between the wave, right? The reason behind that is very simple. So that he AoEs the wave at the same time, so he will get level 2 faster than Aatrox, cheese in a all in and kill him. So that's his trick, you know, like he always pushes the wave with Q, while at the same time he all ins so he gets a juicy level 2. And he says walk towards the wave instead of Aatrox, so Aatrox doesn't back off and Q damage the wave, right? Because usually people don't tend to play against the aggressive setup on Singed with Conqueror and Doran's Ring and Ignite. And so people are not even used to his level 1 damage, right? They're not very used to like Singed level 1 damage with Conqueror and uh, D-Ring. That's why it can be surprising for a lot of top laners even in Grandmaster. Hell, probably even I would be surprised <laughs> because I generally I, I usually don't really see people going Conqueror on Singed in my experience. Um, Usually it didn't go Ignite either in my experience, but it's rarely if ever Singe is picked, right? <coughs> Loki makes me, <laughs> Loki wants me, <laughs> makes me <laughs> pick Singe, right? This helps you to reach the goal of poking. So he's poking, short trading, and he does what? Again, uh, the same thing, you know, he he pushes the wave with his Q and he fights the enemy Rengar, he knows he's gonna get level 2, Rengar gonna be stuck on level 1 and so his goal is very simple, just to get level 2 before him, get the ignite off, get the E off and just kill the Rengar, he's still stuck on level 1 so that's really like the beauty of Singed, getting to push the wave really quick with Q, then getting a level 2 surprise all in, right? and the melee is around 50% 
Night it's written when the melee is around 50% HP, run through the wave and walk up for the level 2 cheese. That will generally really easily allow you to like push it in to kill the minion, right? Especially with the help of your own minions. And then you can look for a very easy uh, all in. So we got it, right? We got it, we push the wave, we go in with Q, we use our re ignite, all that, he dies, Dringer dies, right? Um, no one is safe from the solo bolo master. <laughs> even Galio top, I don't know who the hell picks Galio top. It's not even Galio. Oh, he ghosts. Let's get out though. Oh, basic attack flash ignites, okay. Sadly, he does die, but he pushes in the wave. At least the way will be under tower. He requires gold and spacing to set himself up. He does require gold. Okay, interesting. Against room girl, we trade their space out their abilities for sent them. Okay, yeah, true. Now, also, what's also true is that uh, into, for example, Garen, it's kind of nice to flip him so he doesn't damage you with his E if he's in like melee range, right? That's like kind of nice, you know. <coughs> Ultra Karen has a lot of regions, so you gotta be careful with trades. Because uh, he does a uh, region quite a lot and his trades are quite potent, so. But you see, like, he's really good at uh, getting his level 2s going, getting his uh, all in windows. Just place her super back, yeah, he's playing super back. She's just a bit more. Press CD. Oh, he goes for basic off. Not necessarily a bad trade for Jax because he has a lot of sustain, which Siege doesn't. Oh, oh, very aggressive, right? That's what a lot of Siege players would commit for, right? He went in, ignited, flashed, used all that, you know, to kill the Jax. And we see all the time, like, ignite is such a necessity for him to just solo kill people and snowball of that. Uh, DP is not that bad on Singed, but like Ignite is king in melee matchups because A, it forces people to play differently, which means they will back off from CS because they know they're gonna get all in, so they're gonna have a C uh, CS deficit, or B, the better case scenario is that uh, they die, you know, because they won't respect your Ignite. Um, so I, I would always say, like, I think, like, maybe in Challenger you would play DP, but, um, and generally speaking, I think it would be better for you if you play Ignite. In most of the ranks, he plays Ignite in Grandmaster, of course, because of the early kill potential you have, right? You lose that potential. Because so often, we visually saw it with our eyes that uh, Ignite was just the thing that was exactly needed to kill people. And uh, without that, he just wasn't... Oh, he abused the animation, cancelled the W with Flash, then E someone into the uh, W, which allowed him to get the tower shot in. And that's just like the only like mechanical trick you have to learn. Singe, right? Now the other one that's kind of mechanical, I guess, um, to flip people instantly when they jump on you like a Gragas, so you can actually get a better trade on him, right? But it's like um, that. I think these are the two like main mechanics you have to like kind of learn mechanically on Singe, you know. Then. I think there are some other tricks as well, but th those are not big mechanics. It's like managing your Q, uh, you know, basically like your Q's mana economy, right? Um, but yeah, like... Um, no, but this 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 really makes me... I don't, don't even like Singe, but this really makes me play Singe. That, that, that's how I see this video. I, I like, I generally... I generally didn't like Singe, but I uh, didn't play Ignite, didn't play Kangaroo, you know? Maybe that was my fault, you know? Um, I generally didn't like Singed, but it looks like looks like you can get things done if you're skilled enough. And oh, Fiora is not an easy matchup. <coughs> Fiora is everything, but not easy. So it's slowly pushing with Q. Ooh, getting Q trade. Oh, interesting. But is it interesting? There's no way. <laughs> I mean, this I think that was a bit weird, honestly. No. <coughs> I guess he gets level 2, but like, does Fiora just... <coughs> I don't think so, Fiora will just in tier, no? I don't know if that was really worth, honestly. Um, comes back to Dark Seal, we we'll push back. Yeah, I was like, Fiora is supposed to beat this, right? Ooh, ooh, that's nasty. Ooh! <laughs> Now, normally Fiora could ban Peridot, but it's really a game of guessing in higher ranks, right? <coughs> <coughs> I 
does proxy as well apparently, it's really good. Then ICS gets a little bit of a trade on the um, Aatrox, right? Um, so as much as possible into like very hard matchups, you kind of like want to proxy a little. You can even level up on proxy, but it does not do it because it's very inconsistent. In higher ranks and in lower ranks, arguably, you could do it more easily, it's more recommended, but it's just really a cheese thing that you have to understand the more you recall, the more people are gonna, more likely they're gonna guard the wave, maybe kill you with your jungle, so uh, keep that in mind that proxying uh, is more consistent when you are you can proxy uh, from the enemy top laner and you already know the position of the enemy, uh, of course, like a uh, jungle and maybe if they don't have a twisted trade, preferably or a talon, that, that would also add to its consistency, right? No, but th this video is really good, you know, it really showcases um, his tricks, his mechanics. I mean, this is a super good uh, YouTube channel if you want to educate yourself about different type of Korean players. His players are really, really smart, they really know what they're doing in high elo. Um, does not taking Ghost on Sin sound troll, where does he get his movement Citron? Um, I think some games he could take uh, probably Ghost, maybe in range matchups now. Where he values a bit more uh, mobility than Ignite, no? <coughs> <coughs> but Sin still gets a fair amount of speed from ult and the passive, right? So, I mean... Like, I, I, I would say probably in range matchups, I would say maybe take a TP, maybe take a Ghost, no? Because Ignite... I'm not sure if Ignite will exactly allow you <coughs> to more likely get a kill in a range matchup than a uh, Ghost, in my opinion. That that's me, you know? That's like the enemy. He gets, yeah, as I said, it's passive, it's ultra really, he can slow to gap close, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, he likes to go for this uh, specific uh, rally and uh, and then the healing build, right, the Radiant Virtue. So his uh, ally champions get to live a little longer, he gets to live a little longer, it's a cheap item. So it matches the snowballiness of his uh, playstyle, because rally is also notably cheap, so rally is 2600. Uh, the other one, of course, is uh, very cheap again, 2700 the Radiant, the Mandate is 2300 if I'm correct. So very cheap items that synergize with Singe. <coughs> so you can like, you can be like, you can extend your lead very quickly, you know? It's about very quickly extending your lead into snowballing the game and ending as fast as possible. Which is difficult for them to match because generally their items will cost more and they're also more behind. So it's hard to match the pace with Singe's item, right? He's like very smart with his itemizations in general. <coughs> After casting ultimate, <coughs> you and your team, yeah. You're gonna heal, you're gonna get HP, of course. It's like super cheap, super good. <coughs> oh, I forgot to take my pills. Oh, just a second, guys, I'm gonna take my pills. <laughs> He's the flip master on Singed, he knows how to flip people, huh? Flip master. <laughs> hmm, okay. Ooh, no way. <laughs> no way, Fiora didn't hit the vital, but in there Fiora didn't hit. <coughs> <coughs> in there I don't think so, Singed outplayed, it's just Fiora didn't flash into the vital basic attack, he misclicked. <coughs> I think Fiora in there just misclicked. Uh. But yeah, I think that's it. Uh. That's it for now guys, um, have a nice day, uh, remember leave a subscribe on his uh, YouTube channel if you like his uh, content, I'm just uh, really, really just reacting to it, I'm gonna leave a like as well. Um,
a great video overall. So that's it for now, guys. Have a nice day.